All right, team two is here. Hello, let's get started, guys. So bring your bands, dumbbells or bottles, whatever you have, and we're gonna work on the posterior chain today, right? We don't work enough of our back, hamstrings, butt, everything in the back. We're gonna totally focus on everything in the back, including the back of your arms. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with fire hydrants. We're gonna warm up the butt and the back, okay? So we're gonna get on the floor, elbows on the ground, hand on the ground, left leg. Open up and squeeze at the top. Where the burn is, you wanna squeeze. You wanna make sure you find it. You wanna feel that butt get nice and hard. That's where you wanna stay and squeeze a little longer. Big circles. And now if you're doing it right, you should start to feel the burn happening right about now, okay? So big, full circles, making sure that it burns every time you get to that peak. Full flex at the peak of contraction. Be deliberate with the movement so that butt's gonna wake up, it's gonna get fired up. Big fire, big circle, draw that circle with your knee, keep your knees bent, and then we're gonna go right into circling and leg extension, squeezing still. Gonna wake that glute up. So we'll sit on it too much. We wanna make sure it's not weak, okay? Circle and extend the hip. Circle and extend the hip. Where it burns most is where you spend more time. So don't bypass it too quickly. You wanna find the burn and keep it, okay? Big circle, this is great for your butt, your lower back, gonna wake everything up. <sighs> Finish it up for two more. Last one is where you're just gonna extend and bend your knees just three quarter way, down and up. Keep that burn right there, you can feel it. I want you to find the burn and keep it. Seven, six, five, really feel it. Four, be deliberate. Three, full flexing. Two, and one. Now if you're doing it right, it should be on fire. <laughs> okay, before we switch over, it's gonna burn because the leg that's supporting you is already working a bit, so it's gonna burn. We're gonna give it a little break before we switch. So we're gonna work on our tricep push-ups. Remember I said we're gonna work on the back of those arms, right? Today is a tricep push-up, so it's different. Your hands are parallel to each other, guys. Not here, here, parallel, right here under the shoulder, not here, here, or here, down here. Okay, get the chair. If you can't do a tricep push-up, get on the chair and just do it on your knees. Now for some of you, you can get up, do it on your toes. I want you to find the tricep push-up you can do best. <sighs> Warming up. You can do it on the floor, great. Tuck that elbow in, guys, I see you. Tuck that elbow in towards the waist and really focus on the tricep. So I don't want to see any elbows coming up. I want elbows tucked right in your waistline. Bring it in. Yep, tuck it in. Okay, tricep push-ups today. Your butt's gonna be ready to go again, guys. Guess what? Let's switch legs. Left elbow now on the ground. We're gonna open up and squeeze the right butt cheek. So whichever one you did, you're gonna switch over. Be sure that when you do that big circle, at the very top here with the full flex. Peak of contraction should be a full flex. Nice and tight. Strong and deliberate. You wanna draw a circle with your knee, the biggest circle you can, and really fire up right here at the top. Okay, let's do two more, and then we're gonna extend our legs. Last one. Now full leg extension. I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see me. Okay, big circle. Full leg squeeze right there. Feel my butt get nice and hard right here. Okay, strong. If you have a back problem, it's because your butt's weak. We want to make sure you're strengthening that glute, that butt. Big circle, extend. Big circle and extend. Really stretch it up. Open up that knee. Extend. Give a couple more, and then we're just gonna go into hip raises only, okay? Up and extend. Three quarter bend on the knee, down and straight up. Where that burn you found right here, continue that burn. Eight, seven, six, nice and high. Five, full range. Four, three, two, and one. Guys, good job. It's awake. Your butt is awake. <laughs> now, for those of you doing your push up on the chair, if you want to try on the ground, again, watch this. Arms are parallel. You come down, your elbows are in, not out. Completely tricep, takes the chest out of the equation. 
Now, if you can also do it, you're on your knees, okay, if that's too difficult. Now, some of you can just place your whole body on the floor and push up from there, and that's okay too, because you're still gonna find the burn, because if you come down, you can't get back up, there's no point, you just wanna get down and push, all right? Make sure your fingers are helping out too, okay? Fingers are helping, so you're not just hurting the wrists. If it hurts, just go like this, and go like this for a little while, okay? All right, so we've warmed up her butt, we've warmed up her back of her arms. Guys, if you have a dumbbell, grab it. I'm gonna pretend these are dumbbells, okay? my wine bottles. I'm gonna show you variations. Find a wall, a couch, a table, I don't care what you find, but you gotta put your foot on it, okay? If you guys have bands, just go along with me here. If it's dumbbells, grab them. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put it here, step back, make sure you got some balance, right? Your knees are aligned with each other, push back. I'm gonna find the heaviest point of the, I'm gonna stretch that band so it's super heavy. All right, guys, you're gonna sit back, push your butt back. Make sure your knees remain over your ankles. Don't let them shoot past your ankle. See that? Bring that knee back. Because I want you guys to work your glute, your butt. Push back and up. Okay, make sure you hold that band up here. Push back and up. Dumbbell people, push back, pull it up and up. Push back, pull it up. And you don't need heavy weights. You can just pull it up. Make sure the weight is not so heavy. Light enough that you can squeeze your back, but still burning. And it's definitely adding challenge to the standing leg. Okay, we're working the back of the leg. Okay, push back. See how I'm still engaging my back muscles? Remember guys, today's all about posture and chain. The back of your entire body. So make sure your arms, right? Your shoulder blades are squeezed. Your arms are pulled back. So your back is engaged the whole time you're burning up the leg. <laughs> so this is cardio, guys. See, you don't need to be on a machine to do cardio. You can do cardio like this, strength training cardio. <sighs> Whole body's burning, so your muscles or your, and your heart is just pounding, trying to get all that blood around your body. <sighs> your ass should be burning now. While it's burning, guess what we're gonna do? We'll keep it burning. So if you're holding dumbbells, you might do something heavier, so keep it lighter, it doesn't matter. <sighs> you're just gonna lift it. If you're doing rubber, guess what? I'm gonna find the heaviest part of the rubber. I'm gonna find it heavier. It's like full stretch on that band. Everybody starts in the lunge. That left leg, I have my left leg that was burning. Okay, whatever leg was in the front remains in the front. Remains in the front, yeah, so it keeps burning. So you look like this, guys. Practice with me, move with me, because we're gonna do another round where I'm just gonna move and not even talk. <laughs> you're gonna bend over, you're gonna roll. Feel that back burning. You're gonna hold it while you stand up. Come back down, you roll, and you're gonna stand up. Those with the dumbbells, you're gonna hinge over. See this, body's hinged over. Okay, so you can create that back turn, row, and stand up. So practice with me, row, and stand up, guys. I'm training you guys, I'm not putting you through an exercise class. This is not aerobics, this is training. So you gotta do these moves properly, get really creative at home. Pull back, make sure the elbows are not back in, a little bit flared is good, and then stand up. Full body training, guys, up, and stand up. That butt should be burning. Up, and then stand up. Okay, now you just work your butt, your legs, and your back all at the same time. Give me one more. And up. Okay, so that's the move. We just did one leg. We gotta do the other leg, guys. And we're still warming up. This is just training you to show you how to do proper form, because we're gonna do another round where I won't be talking. I won't be talking very much. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna find the heaviest point of my band, the fullest elasticity. So if you're using bands, make sure you're deliberate about how you use them, right? I'm gonna pull it so it's so tight, it's creating more resistance to my leg workout while it's also burning my back muscle, like big time. I'm gonna push back, I'm gonna sit up, one. 
push back. Remember to keep that knee behind the ankle or over the ankle. Do not let the front knee shoot past. Do not let it shoot past, okay? Because you want to create the weight in the back of your legs. <laughs> not your thighs in the front, but the back, okay? So push back, be really deliberate. Drive your heel through the ground and stand three quarter way up and then back again. You notice how my arms are not resting. You notice how my back is constantly engaged. I'm not doing this. That's not what I'm doing. I'm doing this. So I've just created a whole lot of weight for my legs. This is training, guys. It's not supposed to be easy, but it's gonna make you so strong. When you get back to the gym, you're gonna be like, I haven't missed a beat. In fact, I can lift bigger weights now. What happened? That's what happens, yeah. Finish it off. I got stronger. Give me one more. Okay, you transfer that same leg that you had in the front, you keep it in the front. I got stronger. I could only do like two pull-ups. I could do 10 pull-ups. You know, I could, everything is, I just got stronger because I'm so deliberate how I train at home. Even if it looks like just the band. Get ready, find the full length of the band or the heavier dumbbell, whatever it is. Pull it up, squeeze your back, stand up. Side view, this is what it looks like, side view. Stand up, it's full. Right, see that? Knee on the ground, hinge over, row, and stand up. Make sure you guys are rowing. Make sure you're literally rowing like this with your back muscle and not just pulling with your arm. Okay, super important. Finish it off three more. I'm gonna use the band to show you guys how it could be super hard if you grab at the bottom. Pull it strong and be really deliberate about holding it when you stand up. Two. So you gotta be creative when you're using bands, guys. They're not the same as dumbbells, but you can make them just as challenging. In fact, more challenging, okay? So that was one round. We're gonna do a round together right now. But I get you some water first, and we're not gonna talk, we're just gonna go. But I'll talk. If I don't see you doing it right, I'll talk. I'll make some noise. <laughs> Are you guys ready to burn the entire back of your body? Here we go. Everything in 60 seconds. I'm gonna do it with the bands, you can do it with the dumbbells, however you like, guys. But make sure you create the weight. Do not cheat, full burn. Here we go, 60 seconds worth, it's not easy. Take any breaks you need, okay? I'm gonna get nice and deep in here. Put it up, ready? Three, two, and pull up, strong, push back. Wait for the burn, sit up. Wait for the burn, sit up. I'm too far from the wall, I'm gonna move a little closer to the wall, or the couch, or whatever you got your legs on. Push back. Remember, push the butt back. Bring it back so your knees remain over the ankle or behind. Take a look at mine so you know you're doing it right. If you're doing it right, you'll feel the back of your leg burning, okay? Still engaging my back muscles, I'm not cheating. My back is burning because I'm so deliberate about how I'm holding this resistance band. I have my back and my leg is on fire, like seriously on fire. Okay, I'm still holding this band super tight, so I'm creating a lot of weight for my leg as well, while my back is burning. Push back. In three, two, time. Immediately, the same leg that was in the front stays in the front. Get down to your lunge. Get ready, bend over. I'm gonna make this super heavy. Pull, row, and stand. Side view, hinge over, row, and stand. Hinge over, row, and stand. That's what it looks like in my back when I'm rowing. I'm rowing and I'm standing. Super deep, super deep guys. The burn is deep. Hinge over, row, get some heavier weights if you want and stand. <sighs> 15 seconds. <sighs> Doesn't have to be fast, it's all about form. Full squeezing, digging deep as you stand, sitting down in the same spot. Finish up for three seconds, two, and time. That leg is done. It's 
switching legs, guys. <sighs> my legs are, my butt is like on fire. Okay, switch legs. Right away, keep the cardio going. Grab that bed, pull it to its maximum. Hand, you guys ready for the next leg? Here we go. No cheating, no cheating, guys. Push that butt back, make sure the knee's over the ankle. Pull that band or the dumbbells up and hold it, and then drive through. The burn is setting in really big because I'm so deliberate about how I'm holding this, and I'm driving through the heel of my foot, of my front foot, see that? My back is squeezed, I'm holding this band, and it wants to fight me back, but I won't let it win. <laughs> so my whole body is on fire. My cardio is through the roof a little bit, because I can handle more, but you know, my cardio is on. Until I jump, <laughs> when I'm jumping, ooh, that's a whole other cardio. Okay, my butt is on fire. But it's good, it's good, it's good. Take a little break if you need to. Sometimes you just gotta take a break because if you're too cramped up, too tired, you can't move, no point. Take a break and then come back. Like five, 10 second break, come back. You guys got five seconds. Four, three, two, and time. Same leg that was in the front, keep it in the front. Going down for that lunge. 90 degree in the knee bend. I'm gonna find the heaviest part of this band, you see this? Super heavy, I'm gonna grab it from down here. Here we go. Three, two, pull, and lower and stand. Okay, this one looks like in the front. I'm gonna hinge over, I pull back, squeeze my back muscle. Okay, because I'm holding a band, I'm doing this deliberately to feel my back. Now, if you have a dumbbell, you don't have to do that. If your dumbbell, you could just lift it, squeeze it, and stand up, right? Different. But I got a band, so I gotta use it differently. <clears throat> Yeah, finding that burn, right? Bring that elbow out a little bit. I feel my back, then I stand. Okay. And stand. See that? Your, uh, your legs should be super tired. Give a little shake. Continue 15 seconds, guys. So train the back of the leg and your upper back today, so far. We're not even done yet. Hinging over, finish off in three, two, and time. Shake it off, get some water. We're going back down the ground this time. We're gonna do the triceps. Okay, your, your legs and butt should feel a little bit like jello, okay? And that's a good thing. Okay. Some of you are gonna do your tricep push-ups on the chair, I'm gonna do it on the floor. You guys already warmed up, you know what it looks like. I want you guys to go through the motion with me. Don't just watch me right now, go through the motion with me so you get into the groove of the movement, okay? So, we start at the bottom. No, actually we start at the top. What am I saying? Okay, get some heavier weights because you're only gonna do squeeze your back and kick. That's one, that's two. Three, get some heavier weight, so then it's like five only. Come down, your triceps a little bit started. You jump back, and you go five, four. You can do it on your knees, I don't care. Two and one. Then on your toes, you guys are gonna kick, kick opposite direction. Take your knee and kick it to the opposite elbow. Make sure your abs are tight, flexing, okay? Rounding up the spine a little bit to create the abdominus, rectus abdominis, your front. Ab muscle, creating that burn. So you gotta round up the spine, kick for 10. For people using the band, you can still do the same thing. When you kick for 10, I want you guys to come up and jump for one. Now if you're doing a band, this is what it looks like. See that, my legs are wider. I pull it up, squeeze my back, I kick. So it's too tight, it's too hard. I'm gonna change it up, kick one, two, Three, four, five. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna jump back and go to five, four, three, two, tricep push up. Then I'm going to go into 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Coming back up, step on it, grab it in the same spot. You have to get coordinated. Two, three, four, five. Let's look at how deliberate I am. I'm like literally flying, finding the burn, really squeezing. Then I go down. Now some of you might go down into a chair. You might go to a chair like this. Five, four, three, two, one. Staying on the chair for one, two, three, four, five. You might even go on your elbows to make it a little bit different, a little harder. For 10. One jump. Repeat. So you can do dumbbells, you can do bands, but you gotta be fast. Five, four, three, two. Make the burn happen. One. Push up. You can do it on the chair. On the ground, 10, well, five, five, four, three, two, my triceps are on fire, one, and then I still got to stay on my arm to do my kicks, 10, nine, eight, again, you can do it on the chair, seven, six, whatever you like, right, four, as long as it makes you do it well, okay, no sloppy joes. Ten, one big jump, come back down, tricep kick back again, here we go, uh, five, four, anyone can do it fast and stupid, but if you do it slow, no laziness, deliberate, five is not easy if you're doing it right, on the ground, or the chair, tricep push up, remember guys, tricep, you gotta tap that elbow right in, tap that elbow right in guys, Right here, taper it in. Five tricep. Get ready for squeezing. Two, ten times, right? Four. Really cross over. See that frontal view here? Cross over. Feel the burn. See if you can reach that knee to the elbow. Be deliberate. Find that burn. For ten, give me one big jump from the bottom up. Repeat. You guys gonna repeat this for another. One full minute, 60 seconds, two, be deliberate with the kickbacks, don't make it easy, squeeze it hard, hold it longer, squeeze at the back, tricep, if you're doing it right, you should not have to do so many reps, squeeze only five times, so hard, because you got to compound that burn going down to a tricep push-up. Oh, back on arms are burning. Finish it off, kicking for 10, nine, eight, squeezing your abs, crossover kicks. Four, two, two, done. Let's do one more. Let's just do one more, guys. Big jump, come back down. When I say big jump, I'm talking big jump. Don't give me a baby jump. I'm only doing one jump. I'm not doing a million. <laughs> okay, this is burning me big time because I'm doing it with a lot of it. Hold it a little longer, Claudia. Hold it a little longer. Hold it a little longer. Yes! Now you're going to feel the burn. you got to hold it a little longer. Sometimes we just don't have the heavier weights yet. So we might have to create it, right? So we have to hold longer. Now it makes the tricep exercise so much harder. Don't be afraid to put your body on the chair. Completely put your body on the chair and push from there. Now you're getting full range. You need to get full range, because if you don't get full range, you don't get strong. That means you got to put yourself down. Put your body in the chair and push from there. Now at least you're getting full range of motion, you're going to get stronger. Okay? Finish it off with your kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Give me a jump. Let's finish off with ten jumps. Nine. I want you to try and touch the ceiling. That kind of jump. Don't give me some baby jump. Give me a big one. Your highest jump. Full range of motion as far as your body can stretch. Three, two, one. Good job. Touch the ceiling. Touch it. <laughs> Just pretend to touch it. Good job, guys. You're done with that. While your heart rate is up, 
Let's burn out those abs. Okay. We're gonna burn the abs, but before we do that, I want you to burn out the back of your legs. So if you have a chair, a couch, a coffee table, put your legs on it. But make sure your knees are not, your knees are not 90 degrees, your knees are more than 90, okay? So bring your legs a little further. That way you can really focus on the hamstrings. I want you guys to drive your hips up and squeeze, hold. Now if you drive your hips up and press your heels down, you're gonna feel your hamstrings waking up right here. You're gonna feel it. Lower it real slow and drive it back up. Lower it down slow and drive it up. Now some of you might wanna do one leg, but you might need some help. So use your elbows right here and give yourself a little help. Okay, some of you might do both legs, but just burn. Now if you're gonna do single leg, I'm gonna suggest you do 10, nine, so 10 on each leg, eight, if not two legs, okay? Seven, six, five, work those hamstrings. Four, can you feel it? Nice and tight. Three, two, woo, one. Okay, I'm switching legs. 10. You gotta be slow on your lowering, okay? Slow and control. Three, four. You see, I got my elbows here. Five, to give me some help. If I got no elbows, harder. Elbows down, easier. I can leverage off that a little bit, right? Four, three, two, and one. So that's the hamstrings. If I were you, I would do a few more sets. Three, at least three sets, right? But because we don't have a lot of time, I want you to make sure you cover it. I want to make sure you know what it feels like, and I want you to come back and do it at your own time. Two more rounds, right? At least three sets in total. Burn it. Okay, for now, we're just gonna burn the abs and we'll call it a day, okay? So we're gonna start with the plank punch. Elbow under the shoulder. I want you guys to flex those abs, raise it up, nice and tight. Everything's tight. When you punch, I want you to punch like you mean it. Don't give me this. Don't give me this, that's not a punch. Pretend there's somebody there you really wanna punch or something. Big arms, big arms, big arms. Punch like you mean it. Put your hand, your fist in a, put your hand in a tight fist and punch. Punch hard. <laughs> punch as hard as you can. Some of you might have to be on a chair. That's fine too, right? You can modify punching on a chair or on the floor. Finish it up for another 15 seconds. Oh, sorry, 10, sorry, 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Let's burn it up for bicycle. Bicycle crunches. Go like this, like you're about to fight. Okay, right here. Head next to your chin or your jaw, sorry. Okay, and I want you guys to literally crunch that abs and touch the outside of your knee. Crunch your abs and touch the outside of your knees. Kick the other leg, see that other leg? Kick the other leg nice and long. Nice and long, bring it up towards 45 degrees, 45 degrees from the ground up. Kick it up, cross over, crunch it, finish it off, 10, nine. Really turn and crunch, okay? Don't just go through it. Flex and crunch, slow it down. Get the biggest burn and the, less, the least amount of reps. Going five, four, three, two, and squeeze it out. And then if you want to finish it off, just sit up as many times as you've got left in you. You got nothing left in you, you're done. But if you want to, you can sit right up, palms together, drive it through, and make sure when you sit up, you sit up only to 45 degree and come back down. Don't sit up completely, because if you sit up completely, you are resting. I want you to make sure you're 45 degrees still on an angle and burn it up for five, four, do whatever you can, three, if you can't, take a break, you're done. Two, one more, and that was it. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. I love it when you guys are focused on your form. Less is more. If you can create less rep and b maximum burn, that means you're doing it really deliberately. You can definitely change up the tempo that changes up the intensity. Some days we can do fast, but some days if you slow it all down, Ooh, 
It's a whole other game changer. All right, guys, good jobs. Replenish yourself with lots of protein and water and make sure you get some little carbs in there, get some energy. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Claudio. You guys are awesome. Thanks, William. You rock. PJ, I saw you. You're good. Just elbowing just a little bit on the push-up. and the... That's only for today. Usually we, we do what you do. It's like perfect. Today, I just really wanted you guys to feel the tricep. So it's like tuck it right in, right? But it looked good, though. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thanks, Farzana. Thanks, Olga, Danielle, David, Christine, Natalia. Have a great day, guys. Thanks, team number two. I'll see you guys later.